Brought to you by Pell's Radio Appliance and TV. Finest service after the sale. Now from the TV Cadillac Studios, this is Local Edition. Hello and thanks for watching this Local Edition. I'm Eric Wotilla. Well, after a long process, a local chamber of commerce has a new home. Local Edition's Benjamin Ari has the story. Benjamin? Eric, the new Lake City Chamber of Commerce building is finally complete after an extensive project that took years. It's been about a two-year project, actually. After a lot of time and a lot of work, the new chamber building is in a perfect location. We're located right across the street from the downtown city park, which is where we have the majority of our events. So we love this location. This is to us, it's perfect for us. The move gave the Chamber of Commerce a chance to support local businesses directly. Once we got here, we were able to order to get our local contractors to do all the work in here, which as you can see turned out just beautiful. Um, Bill Baldwin was our main contractor, but all of them have been members of the chamber and um, community contractors, uh, all local, which has just been really fun to work with, and they just did a beautiful job. And while a few details remain, organizers are glad the major work is finally finished. I believe we started in about February, uh, so it's been about four months of construction. We still have some small things that aren't finished um, that uh, the builders are continuing to work on. We have an information um, booth that will be out front on the building like we had in the old building so that even if we're not open, the um, contra or people can still get information uh, like county maps and so forth. Um, we, we still have a lot of small details. We don't have all the furniture yet, um, so we're working on that. In addition to being in a better location, the move is also making way for a new city park. The old building, um, Doc Artis' estate has torn down, and they are now going to be working with the city on renovating that whole park. So it will be a beautiful entrance to Lake City. And the new building seems to be working out well. We were amazed how much, how many things we had in that building. We don't know how we managed to pack it all in there, but we did. Um, but, oh, yeah, this is just so much nicer. Uh, we just couldn't ask for a, a better amount of space and location. This works perfectly for us. Now, for a look at the project back when construction began, head online to local-edition.com. I'm Benjamin Ari. Now back to you, Eric. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, a walk to raise autism awareness was recently held in Cadillac. We'll tell you more about the group that held the walk. Stay with us. And welcome back to Local Edition, I'm Eric Watilla. Well, a local group called Families Fighting Autism held a Walk for Their Cause last weekend. Um, this is our second annual Walk for Autism. The Walk for Autism brought a group of people to Cadillac's downtown park. The group walked to raise money for autism awareness. Organizers said that raising awareness of autism will be very important to helping those suffering from the disorder. There's so many people that go undiagnosed. There are so many things that we could be doing as a community to improve it. Just more awareness. We need to raise awareness. Now for more information about families fighting autism, you can visit their website at eliminateautism.org. That does wrap up this local edition. I'm Eric Wotella. Thanks for watching. <laughs>